And I think that there will be a lot of Uber and Lyft drivers headed to the Berea Fairgrounds as a safe way to get to Oktoberfest. Our Austin Love has made this event part of his Labor Day tradition. Joins us live right now. Austin, uh, how's it going? How you doing? Yeah. It's going fantastic. Holly, remember last hour I got you. I said that I was I forgot my later hose at home. Yeah, surprise. I got it back on, ladies and gentlemen. We'll show off the fit over here. It's the least accessible clothing you've ever worn in your entire life. But, you know, played the old uh, left your later hose at home trick, the oldest trick in the book. But uh, here with my buddy Adam Roggenberg, one of the presidents of Oktoberfest. You guys put on such a party every year. And one of the main staples here, obviously, is the beer, but also the food. What we got going on over here? Yeah, we got some schnitzel and some chicken paprikash. Uh, Chef John Roberto, who has a standout here, got up bright early this morning and uh, started cooking for us. So, yeah, that's one of the, the tons of uh, different food options we'll have here out this weekend. Sure. The largest outdoor event in Northeast Ohio, also featuring the largest glockenspiel in North America. I mean, that's where the party's at, because you guys have a, a, a essentially a party, a performance every hour there on the hour that people come out and hang out here. Yeah, we model it right out for, you know, out from Munich. So it's it's like a bourbon street here in Northeast Ohio. Every hour there's a big show and a huge party underneath. So yeah, come out and see it. Last year, I was able to get on the uh, glockenspiel, and, and I remember us talking about that Cincinnati had the biggest uh, uh, Oktoberfest in North America and I was like everyone we got to get this up we got to get the numbers up but there's a there's a way that you can help at, at home as well because USA Today you guys are in this huge event with, with USA Today so you can go online and vote for Cleveland Oktoberfest to be the number one correct yeah right on the top of our website guys uh, we're, we're number one in the country right now like three days left and we're really proud of it not only for the Oktoberfest but for Northeast Ohio um, we can really showcase this off this weekend and get people and, and have tourists come here and visit this great event it's a Cleveland tradition tradition coming out here to Oktoberfest. It's also an Austin Love and Adam tradition to, to come up here and also uh, take a shot of Jaeger. And guys, a, a little inception moment for us is that we are going to be taking a shot of Jaeger inside a shot of Jaeger, inflatable <laughs> shot of Jaeger. I mean, is there anything better than this? I, I, can't, I can't imagine it. So first off, cheers to you. Cheers to Oktoberfest. Cheers. Let's rock and roll. Oh my, oh my oh yeah. gosh, there that just go. happened. Uh, wow. But also, we can't forget about our boy, Vlad Dave, over here <laughs> right, as well. Right. So we're going to let Adam oh do the honors of the Jägermeister like at 6, 10 yeah, in the morning. Dave. Vlad Dave, bottoms up uh -huh, there, buddy Flat boy. Dave. Cheers, Dave. Dave, I blame him. He made me do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cheers. Oh, oh. That's how you do it. Mm. That's how you do it. He's how got a DD. How about <laughs> it? Flashbacks. It's refreshing. It's like... Licorice oh. and Listerine all rolled into one. Mm. My goodness. But all the fun out here at Oktoberfest this weekend, next weekend. Come check it out. Get some Jaeger for yourself. How about oh. it? Just add it to the list right. of Flat Dave feats. Flat Dave really gets <laughs> Flat. Flat Dave's calling abused. off the rest of the day. I, I think Flat Dave's going to bed. <laughs> That's right. Yes. All right. Thanks, Austin. He's drunk. <laughs> oh, gosh. What about Austin? I don't know.